Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another FIFA 20 experiment. And in today's video, we have the youngest possible team on FIFA 20 going up against the oldest possible team on FIFA 20, and we're gonna see which team will come out on top. The way we're going to be doing this is first of all, putting them up against each other in a simulated match, which we're gonna spectate and see which team will win in that. And then we're gonna put them both in the Premier League and the Champions League and see who will do better in both of those competitions. But before we do get into today's video, please make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you are new for more amazing FIFA 20 experiments and more FIFA 20 content. We do have Team of the Year coming out tomorrow. When that does drop, we will be creating the team here in FIFA 20 and putting them in the Premier League and the Champions League, and they should absolutely dominate because that is going to be an absolutely amazing team. But for today, we do have the oldest team versus the youngest team, so let's get into these teams and see what they look like. Okay, guys, here is the youngest possible team in FIFA 20. I've decided to put them on Crystal Palace because, fun fact, Crystal Palace is actually the youngest team in the Premier League today. They were created last out of the 20 teams in the Premier League um, in this season. So that's why I put them on Crystal Palace. But this is our youngest team. We've got the likes of Ansu Fati, Fabio Silva, some very great um, young players. They're all 16, 17 years of age. So they have very, very prosperous careers ahead of them. Um, and they all have pretty high potentials as well. But that probably won't come into play when we sim the Premier League season because we're only be doing, going to be doing one season. But this, nonetheless, is our youngest team. It is looking pretty stacked, but let's go and check out our oldest team. So much like the youngest team, Aston Villa is the oldest team in the Premier League. They were the first team to be established in today's Premier League. So yeah, fun fact, that's why I put them on Aston Villa. But this is our old team, and this team does look a little bit better, I will say myself. We have Buffon in goals, we have, you know, Gao Quinn, um, Pizarro, Lee Dong-Gook. We also have um, our bench here. Um, yeah, so these are all the oldest players there, you know, 40, 41 here. This is actually the oldest player on FIFA 20, 48 years of age he is. Um, but yeah, this is our oldest team, guys, so we're going to... We're going to put this up against the youngest team in a simulation game now, and we will see who will come out on top. So, these are our teams here. As you can see, Aston Villa, the older player teams, do have slightly higher ratings um, across, the, across the board there. But we will see how that comes into play, because youthful players are, you know, overall a bit faster, a bit more youthful, and that could well outplay the older team. But... Without further ado, let's get into this game. The youngest team in FIFA 20 against the oldest team in FIFA 20. Let's see what happens. It's Crystal Palace up against Aston Villa. Thanks, Derek. Yeah, really looking forward to both teams producing entertaining football. Let's see if we get that. Enjoy the game. The game commences. They could nudge in front. In it goes. An early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, just look at this. They all back off him and he takes the advantage. He goes through one, two, three. In the end, it's a wonderful solo goal. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Has a go. And Buffon with a brilliant save. How many times have we seen him do that, Derek? Years and years and years. And Scott for the cross. Shot. 
Shot attempted. Staunch rear guard action. Corner kick played over. Insufficient accuracy as regards the corner. And meat and drink to the goalkeeper. And the referee says that is all for today. Well, there you have it. That is the match. And our older team managed to win the match 1-0 after scoring in the 10th minute, I think it was. But the, the young team certainly got back in, especially in the second half. It was all them. Um, they dominated possession, but they just couldn't find any sort of, any sort of, you know, flair in the attack to to sort of, you know, score a goal and get back into the match. Um, but if we take a look at the stats here, three shots to two, one on target. The other team actually had two shots on target. Fairly even possession. We also have five tackles by the older team, but only one by the younger team. Um, shot accuracy. The experience here, definitely, this is where it was won by the um, older team there. They had 100% shot accuracy, all their shots were on target, their passing accuracy was also a bit higher, and only one shot on target from three for the younger team. So that is definitely where the experience comes into play and how the older team won the match. But, will the older team be able to survive a whole season in the Premier League? We're about to find out here as we're going to be simming a career mode season. So guys, let's get into that. Okay, so here we are about to start our career mode simulation. And this is where I've put the teams. I've put Crystal Palace, our youngest team in Group C, and our oldest team in Group H. So we're going to see how they perform in the Champions League come season's end. But yeah, let's start this career mode season. Let's sim to the end, and let's see how the Premier League table looks. Alright guys, we are at the end of the season and we are about to find out how our teams did in the Premier League. Okay, so this is a fairly, you know, normal Premier League ladder, except our two teams are nowhere to be seen. So we're going to scroll down, sit here and see how they did. Wow, okay. <laughs> our youngest team ever only managed to get two points, zero wins. 2 draws and 36 losses. <laughs> that <laughs> that's incredible. Meanwhile, our oldest team finished in 16th place, 28 points, 8 wins, 4 draws and 26 losses. I can't believe our team and they conceded 110 goals. So, I'm going to go ahead and assume that they did not do well at all in the Champions League, but Let's see, let's see how our teams did in the Champions League. Alright, so Crystal Palace, as expected, finished in last place in Group C with zero points to their name, six losses. They did manage to get a goal though, so that's, that's pretty good. They managed to score against Dynamo Zagreb. So yeah, they did pretty bad. But how did our oldest team do? Let's scroll down here. And they finished in last place as well, but they managed to get four points with a win and a draw. Who did they manage to beat there? They managed to beat Ajax, which is a bit of a surprise, but yeah, there you go. Um, so, so in the end, our oldest team did come out on top, proving that maybe experience is more valuable than the youthfulness of our youngest team ever. But guys, if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to leave a like down below subscribe if you are new get pumped for team of the year make sure to keep an eye out on the channel for that one and i will see you guys in the next video bye for now